There we go. Okay, now we're recording. Is recording as well. Right. Just twitch. Fingers crossed this should all go quite smoothly. Um, like this. As you can see, it's a relatively new team, if not completely new. I think this is their second game. One of the blitzes has a pass. Did I go through and go so and get humbled on this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think they even scored a touchdown in the last game. But Bretonians are different. We should be able to, I'm hoping, fight them off quite nicely. There's no mighty blow. He's got a loner. There's a lot of positives here that I can play off. So let's get in. Get involved. Don't go up against Bretonians too much. Okay, that should be enough for now. Yeah! I think I should be. We're probably all right. Might just move this player one square that way. Okay. <laughs> the wall is currently secure, but now they must grab it. Loose ball is a dangerous ball. The player needs to secure it. Ask. And stupidly didn't do a very good job of. Is this going to be enough to secure the first block? But all right. Nice. Okay, that's going to make this drive a lot easier. Right. Um, let's keep going along that line of thinking then. Um, <laughs> Punish. Blitzes have catch. I'm not too concerned about the whole catch thing. break. I mean, it's, high elves can play a small bashing game, to be honest, when they come down to it, um, just because of the way they run, pretty much. Um, do I let this one slide? I'm going to let this one slide. All covered. He does have the opportunity to break in, but I don't think he's going to be... He's not going to be rushing through here um, immediately, at least. He does have the opportunity, though, to bring players in from the side, but let's see what he does. Okay. I would have probably brought players round from this point, but... I guess he does have the opportunity here to raid, get this player. No, he's just to raise this player, so we're all right in that sense. As I said, comfortable taking the hits against these guys just because. Um, yeah, my in general my armor value is eight. The only one that doesn't have eight armor is catches, and I don't have any of them. Whereas he's got armor value seven. I'm already a player up, so fingers crossed that. Work out in my favour, but I mean, this is all just trusting the dice, which is a bit. Yeah! Ah! 
unreliable because as you can see you've got the KO there so that's an elf that's going to go down which is a shame he does have his, have his apothecary as well but Okay, looks like it's going to go for full envelopment. Um, that's fine. I think we can find the opportunities to... hit back and fight out of it, to be honest. to assist their teammate. Earth gathering around that lone player, like halfway around a sandwich. that block in a second but <laughs> pick up the ball apparently it's more difficult than it seems Okay, this could be a really bad move. They've gone into the opponent's tackle zone. This should be good. Okay, that was a terrible move. Okay, nice. That's good KO at least. Really? Then we'll get dodging. Alright, let's see how that goes. It's a bit of a risky play. can come round and try to make some sort of play around here. But again, it's it's making rerolls, it could go either way. Nice. It's gonna be alright. Tonians are weird. I don't really know how to address them. They seem very odd. Okay, so it looks like he's going to perhaps make a play around here. 
Okay, so I suppose there's the opportunity then to bring this player around here. Okay, no, he's going to make that roll. I'm happy for him to make rolls like that. The more one die blocks he has to make, the better, in my opinion. Uh, so. Both stunned, irritatingly. Okay, actually, the ball's gone a bit more loose than I would like, but we can still play around it, to be honest. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, that's an extra stun. Let's go for the pickup. God, sometimes I do like playing else. They're cheap, but they're good. <laughs> okay. In there. Nice, good. Okay. Good. We're making a movement forward now, which is nice. Anything else that I achieve here is is a nice nice to have, but not necessarily essential. I probably won't use a reroll if I can avoid it. Just because I know I'm a player up. Uh, do we make that roll? Or do we just trust in the dice? Let's trust in the dice. Okay, that's unfortunate. That said, with this player here, I'm feeling relatively confident we can keep moving up the pitch now. The thing I don't want to do is start chewing through my rerolls. I don't have many of them as elves yet, and that's that's the problem. I suppose I, what I didn't consider is he can just make this roll here, and he does have wrestle, so that's an opportunity. But it then again forces rolls that I'm not sure he wants to use. And I think if the ball goes to goes live, it, that's I don't know. I feel confident. Um. Come on, guys. Together. There you go, that's that lineman down. But, I mean, this is one of the few players that could have got in and picked up the ball if need be. So, that's why I'm relatively okay if he comes in and makes that blitz, because if you notice, he's going to make two go for it rolls and a one by block. Absolutely have to stop it does work, though, for him. Let's see what you can do with it. Again, I feel like I can just clear this ball and pick it up again. But I can be proven wrong. I'm never really very good with elves. I don't really know what to do. They're, I kind of miss having the big strength players. Um. Okay. okay. Let's get moving. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Another KO. That's good for me. Good. Elves are hitting hard, which is nice. This guy can probably come in and pick up the ball if need be, but it might be better just for the Litz to get that job. Let's see what happens. Make the Blitz. Get the 
push is fine. Stay. Pick up the ball. And cage up using a reroll, hopefully. Whew. Always nerve wracking when that happens. As I said, anything else I get this turn is. I'm fine with. Um, that should be sufficient defense now for that side of things. See if we can make some more of those dodges. <laughs> the reason I'm okay making these one-die blocks is just because I have the armor to do so. Um, if worst case scenario goes to a both down, probability is going to injure one of his players over mine. But let's see what happens. Probably looking to score within the next couple of turns though, because I don't want this to get... Uh, too close. I don't want to have no rerolls in a minute, which is a distinct possibility at this point. Okay, that releases up this player. He'll be able to move into certain positions, but I'm not sure it's going to be able to do too much. He is down on players, and in this sort of brawl where it's all strength free with no skills, it's very difficult when you're down on players. He's going to make a blitz with a go for it roll. And he does get it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, first things first, let's just... Clear up the path. Let's just secure that for now. Keep these guys as far back as possible. The reason I'm going to play and attack this one, normally I would go for this player here because he's the loner and this one's the loner. So that wasn't a very good move. Okay, I guess I'm going to go for that one. A better move would have been to move that player there, but I was trying to cover this point here. Um, yeah, I don't feel like making that block, uh, so that's fine. And see what you can do with this. Bretonians don't move the ball very fast down the field, so scoring on turn six should be enough for me.
especially with a reroll, they should be able to defend. So I used to play High Elves in uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Um, that's why I quite like playing them, but I'm just, just no good at them. I just, I miss the players, the tough, big, I like having big guys, I like having other players of that kind that can support. Hey, let's see, okay, he's going to reroll that. I don't know why you'd, I'd almost be okay with that, but, because it, be, though that extra reroll would go towards the drive, but. Is he going to move it? Because if not, I'm... Okay, he is, he's going to move. That makes sense. Because my thinking is, if he doesn't dodge out, which he does, I'd basically knock him and then try and push him off to try and get an easy injury. We're going to try and make, just because there's no risk to our ball carrier right now, I'm just going to make some blocks just to try and basically do some damage where possible. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, but it just needs to be... Oh, shoot. Almost I made a dodge roll there as well. And that'll be fine. So it's a nice good start. Okay, he's going to be one player down, I'm going to be one player down. And we're set up. Let's see how he reacts to um, being scored against. Obviously, if there's an opportunity, I'm probably going to try and move one of my blitzes into a position where he can s he freshens to score, just in case he can pop that ball loose and make a lucky throw. Um, I do have the safe throw thrower, which is awesome, uh, with pass, so it is a possibility. It's what the High Elves do best. Looks like, however, he is going to... Only... At the moment, it looks like he's only going to target two players on this line of scrimmage rather than tapping all three. He might change that. I'm expecting him to. Hmm. Okay, let's see where the ball goes. Oh, he does get an extra team roll there. He will, though. And it's landed somewhere pretty safe, actually. <laughs> Excluding terrible dice, I think I'm going to be struggling to get the ball off him. At least this, this drive. Ooh, that's not good. I'm going to apo that one, just because if I can get... There we go. Yeah, I don't want him dead. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of team value lost for no reason. OK, 
kill. Here comes the knight, who's going to make the blitz attempt there. So Let's see what happens, because he has the players to move around here to get around the ball. And he may just play full on defensive. In which case, I'm going to just try and pick off some more of his um, peasants. Okay, he's going for the pickup. He makes the pickup. And then what, he finishes up the cage there? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, that's a pretty strong position for him. Let's try and tease this position open though. The main thing is not doing it in a way that jeopardizes jeopardizes me, my defense, and means he doesn't just shoot straight through me. So let's see what happens. Is this going to be enough to come out on top? These peasants are really good at avoiding contact. Okay, I should. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll form up. A line if we can to basically stop him just breaking through instantly. Let's, we've still got our re roll if we need it. <laughs> nice, that's a good stun. Alright, that should be enough for now. Let's see how that goes. None of these players in scoring range, as I'd hoped, but to be honest, it doesn't look like we're going to pop the ball out, but it's better to have a solid defence and then we can give it a good shot next turn. Now he needs to get the ball carrier quite far up the field to be able to essentially score. Um, so let's see how he approaches that. He might just make a run for the centre, but that's tough because he has to make one dodge. Um, and I should be able to basically counteract it. And do some, we can even get the ball and make a pass, that's an SPP that I can use. It just really depends on whether he thinks it's worth it. Yeah, it looks like he's going to just accept that it's going to be... For the moment, he's not going to be able to score. He's not going to be able to put any players in place to stop this. He's alright. Stunned, but alright. Ah, nice hit. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see how he approaches. So I can actually get in and... Looks like I'm going to be re-rolling that. Why am I making a one die block? Oh. oh, I'm being stupid. I'm not thinking things through. I'm too used to lizard men. Right, and I shouldn't be following up either. Don't do whatever you're seeing me do here because it's not it's not good play at all. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll get this player out of harm's way. There you go. Let's leave it like that. <laughs> it's going to finish 1-0 to me. Probably put too many players in a position where they can get beat on. But let's see what he does with it. He's using his lowness. No, no, he's not using the lowness straight away. At the same time. This is the risk you run by leaving that player there. Okay. So be it. He's still got a KO'd player. So I can hope that that blocker stays out. And mine come back. Would be nice. There we go, and then he's got two more potential blocks he can make. One with this player and a blitz. Or just blitz with that player. Let's see, he's probably going to make a pass with this one, I would have thought. Oh, no, he might make a foul on my Blitzer, which is an interesting choice and probably a good one, actually. Here comes the pass. And it makes it. That's good for him. A bit of SPP. Move this guy in and foul. You should don't have an apo, so this could be where. If he gets a player sent off, of him. ah, that's gonna be tough. He is sent off though. Hey, okay. So that's not bad. Is that the loner? He might be the loner. Okay. Is hoping for two players up would be fantastic. This is... Okay, that's fine. And it's the blitzers up as well. That's good. Cool. So it's ten players apiece. Which is fine. Despite being in the lead, this team now has to kick the ball to the losing squad. They'll want to get it back as soon as they can. Does he use the loner? He didn't use the loner to foul. So that should be interesting. Ten players, each side, going in. Should be interesting to see. If I could get an extra reroll through some luck, but I don't think I can because I don't got the cheering fans. So I'm not going to win that because this team doesn't have the team value, uh, the star, whatever you call them, the fame yet. Okay. That should be interesting. I haven't played in Blizzard in a long time. And when it comes to maneuverability... Uh, it's no reducive, uh, but it can only mean so only quick or short passes can be attempted, which is not good for me if I'm looking to make any long balls. Man, what a wonderful... Every time this fades... What is it? There we go. Ah, let's see how this works. This 
line of scrimmage works out nicely for me. Looks like he might make a blitz with this player, I think. Onto one of my linemen. Yep, here we go. No such luck on the butt. A block dice, though. He'll give me a free hit on this guy, so that's good. Uh, he picked up the ball. That's a good roll. Okay, so both players, both teams down to <laughs> both teams not wanting to hit each other. Um, let's follow up on that. Oh, we can't because he's a Bretonian. What am I talking about? Try and tie up some of his players with linemen. Um, that's going to be that strategy there. Need to be close. Smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. This player likes to be well assisted. Let's leave him there for now. Just one more stop. I'm not sure who comes off better, to be honest, if we start having a bit of rough and tumble on the sidelines, but I'm, I'm going to hope that we can sort of outplay a little bit on that side of things. Right. And I mean, the purpose of pulling these players here is he's probably going to bring in a player here yep, to make that two die, to make that two die. Which then brings three players to deal with two linemen, two of which are his blockers. It does obviously put my players at a risk, so they may get stunned like that, which is not so fantastic. Maybe I miscalculated this. But it does keep his players distracted over here when his ball carrier is here. It just basically weakens up the line. He also, I think he's probably going to have to try something about that, but we don't know. Okay, looks like he might try and just move the ball this direction, which is fine again. I'm, I'm okay with that. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Okay, so he's gonna probably move into this area here. Remember, if he makes any go for it, it's a risk. Could also try and get in there, I suppose, but it's certainly a bold move and gives me a chance to start basically taking apart his um, his cage, which would be nice. Well, let's see what he does with it. I think I almost feel like it's a bit of a stretch. Because right now, his player has to go... Remember, go for it's going to be on a 1 and a 2. This is what he puts it here, maybe? That could work, but then... He risks it, because then I can open up and get in there. So let's see what he does. Yep, okay. Okay, so we do have an opportunity here to actually have, make a play at the ball. Um, oh no, he's making a handoff. Okay, that's probably a fair move. He's stunned. Okay, he's not going to be a problem anymore. Right, we just need to be careful about what players we're playing to which positions to, just to make sure that I'm not doing anything stupid. Which there's always a chance of doing. Right, let's 
play this player. He does have wrestle, so. I think it's wrestle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So he'll follow. Get this player up. Remember, if he scores quickly as well, we get the opportunity to run in a second town touchdown, so. intended as intended at all <laughs> I was really just gonna try and make a play see if I can bump it but that's all right again as I said I'm okay with him scoring quite quickly because I can now start thinking about what he does but let's see what he plays and how he plays it that's a wrestle so you should be able to wrestle that player down okay that works for me Maybe plays a blitz now from that player, possibly. We've got these three players tied up for the moment, that's that's good. And to be honest, the more the more blocks he's coaxed into, the easier it is for the elves to get into the box and actually um, take the ball off him. Blitz maybe? Yeah, looks like it. Especially with a roll like that. That is nice for me. Very nice for me. So double block means that that point, that's going to weaken up his... And don't forget, these two players are getting up next turn. <laughs> They'll be getting up and threatening the ball carrier. He's got a line of players here that he now has to try and address. He doesn't have a re-roll. So if he messes up any of these, um, he's in trouble. He's got this player who probably needs to be careful. Um... He's got a loner here, although I guess it doesn't matter if he's a loner now. So let's, let's see what he does, because he's not really got too many options available to him. Putting this player here means he has to move this player up to here or dodge. Um, which then again leaves these guys out to start threatening in the rear, which will be good. And if he doesn't address that, I mean, he's probably best putting his player there. Because honestly, otherwise I'm just going to run up and make the... Now he could try a dodge here. I guess that might be one of his better options. Okay, so he's playing that player there. This is a dangerous place to be. Oh, okay, there goes that one die. Okay, he's only a stun. Still not good by any means, but... We're sort of thinning him out, and that's the main thing. And his position. Yep, okay. He's stunned, I'm not. Good. Right, that's fantastic. want to make that. But there's safer moves to be made here. A lot safer moves.
that player there. Play this one as a buffer so they can't just pull in loads of support. And get this player up here. Now it's a 67% go for it, and I'm. Um, he does actually make it. Nice, good. Okay, that should be enough, I think. For now. The team are doing well. I just need to work out how what's the best role. Now, he's not going to be able to get this player active just yet because he's not going to be able to stop these ones. She could pull in a player around here or something. Uh, this guy is not marked up, which is a shame. But he shouldn't be able to break down this line. Um, we'll see what happens, though. He's got movement six, so he can get there. Which I'm okay about. I mean, the problem here for him is now what I'm threatening to do is basically make a block on the front or a block on the back if my elves do any dodging. That's perfectly reasonable to think they can. And they may do. And he's spending, I mean, if you look, six players on this side. I do, in fairness, have two elves over here. <laughs> but they've been knocked out. But the rest of them, it's four. So it's even more than that. Uh, six, seven on this side. Forcing him to make one die blocks, which I'm sure he's not feeling overly comfortable about. Although if he makes KOs, he's going to be happy about that. That is a shame. But we should have the room here to do what we need to do. Now what does he do with this? Where does he put his players? That's what he's got to be asking himself, because this player's still got to go somewhere. I guess he could try and make a go for it, guys, and try and get down the pitch. Yeah, that's not the safest position to be. Does he make the go for it? He does. He slips up. He will likely re-roll it. He has to really try. But then does he go for the second one? Ah, he slipped up as well. Okay. That's good. We forced his hand, and now he's out. And injured. Fantastic. There's no casualties, so... I think he's... Yeah, he uh, appoed that to make sure there was no casualty on that. Okay. This makes things interesting. For me, at least. But it's still not by any means secured, is the problem. He's only got one reroll, I got two. His player's off the pitch. If I can score the second touchdown now, it's pretty much game over. Nice. Okay, that's a KO as well. That's good. That's really good. I'm feeling comfortable about perhaps even just caging round the ball. I don't need to make a serious um, go at it. But that way I can essentially just secure the ball up and move forward from there. Uh, which I'm sure he will not be overly pleased about me doing, to be honest. Um, this player can make a 2 die block here, so... Make a dodge with our Elven Blitzer. Get them both down, it's fine. It's a KO. Oh, sorry, it's a stun, which is perfectly fine. Get that. Now we basically have the equivalent of a, a block dice here if we need it. Um, nice. Okay, that's looking healthy. 
that's looking very healthy. We've got a re-roll up. I think we're a couple of players up as well. Uh, he's lost. Actually, no, it's about even. Wait, is it? You know what? I can't remember. We've lost two players. Two knocks out, and he's got... No, no, we are a player up. We've got more re-rolls. So that's kind of what we needed to do, was just basically force him to make a risky play that he might then lose out on, and that's exactly what happened. So now we've got to work out how we just get the ball safely upfield. And that is the problematic part, because there's still quite a few players involved. The obvious direction is actually up onto the right-hand side. We have most of our elves protecting, or at least from a screening point of view, there. So that's a wrestle, so he's not going to be involved, and that frees up my player. So, yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a blitz here. Lots of little blitz symbols. He does get the block, which is a shame, because I was going to use him to do something. Is he going to make... Yeah, that's a really risky move because you're not going to make that pick up. But I guess he's, he's feeling... This is his last re-roll that he's using. But he has every chance he's going to... Yeah, mess the pick up up anyway. Um, so, what are we going to do? We are going to... So, to make sure this ball is cleared... Good. Let's just get the ball starting moving up the field. Start moving this ball here. Good knock down. Make the dodge. Nice. Okay. Things are looking pretty good for us right now. Oh, nice. And an injury as well. That should boost that guy up to... Nice. That should basically cement this victory now. That's looking like it's going to be a 2-0 for these elves. Um, what's his best move? It might be to make a complete utter roll of the dice and try and go for the blitz with this player. It's a dodge followed by uh, two go for it. So it's risky, but it could work. It could, it could open up the ball, at least. It's probably his best bet, to be honest, but as we've discussed, he's only got... Well, he doesn't have any new rolls, so... And he's going to go for that blitz instead. Fair enough. I'll probably want my blitzers to get levels up if I can, but that's all wishful thinking, really.
enough to come out on top. That dodge. I meant to put him here, not there. Oh well. Dodge. And make a nice little play to here with another dodge. I've been quite lucky on the dodges, it has to be said. I think we can afford to use a reroll in this one. Right, now we just got to march this player up the field and we should be alright. Looking good. Is he going to make another move? No, it's not. They're gathering around that lone player, like hatchlings round a sandwich. Now, I'm not really sure how to approach this team because team value above 150,000 counts towards. Sorry, excess money across to 150,000 is going to be okay. He's just going to go for fouls. Fair enough. He's KO'd. Okay. Well, that's probably the safest you want a player who's likely to get fouled because he's not going to get fouled again if he's KO'd. So all we got to do to keep things going is keep moving up that field. That's all we want to do. Keep this player safe by just running the hell up field. <laughs> Making a blitz occasionally to try and this is going to be decisive. There you go. <laughs> cool. Let's see what he does. I'm not sure he can do anything. He might just come and try and blitz down and foul and then it's a guaranteed 2-0. Let's just hope the lineman survives. <laughs> Oh. For once a high elf game goes my way. That was well played by my opponent. It's just... For once I actually landed a successful defence. Um, I haven't really been out very good at my defences recently. Um, you forced... Basically, you force him to make some um, less than ideal rolls. And there's a good chance he'll, he'll do badly or trip up. And that's where you... Your attempt to work out. Um, uh, going for another foul, fair enough. <laughs> Didn't even break armor. Um, and that's just all it is. I mean, had he scored, managed to score, I'm hoping I would have been able to basically push up the field with my players and. Uh, score the score it for the two one, but I'll take two zero. It's a clean sheet. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, so that was really good for me. I think I can be pleased with that. Let's go and have a look at the spoils of victory. I thought my heart almost beat on more than one occasion. Uh, 
That's fine. Okay. Nice. And looks like I actually got to level up on one of my players, which I think might... To... Same lineman. Got MVP twice. Okay, well, let's see what he gets. So fantastic. He got that. Well done, lineman. Okay. Um, let's turn him into a wrestling one. Wrestle 90,000. There's nothing else I really need to do on this team yet. Um, let's just hope they start picking up some points. So that should be it for now. Um, stay safe, guys. I shall stream and record some more videos. Uh, the aim is to start recording full matches um, and posting them up on YouTube because too many concedes have come about. Uh, from my recent Lizard Men games where opponents just concede really early on, which is really lame. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know. Anyway, all the best. Later.